Hi, I'm Grant. I'm Kristen. And this guy's Elisha. He's being homeschooled, and we're trying to find awesome activities to do with him so that we can make his education more fun. This week, we're off to Italy. We'll be studying luxurious art, groundbreaking scientific discovery, and delicious food. It's great, happy family again, and we're excited to open up our Universal Yums box, right? Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's from Natalia. Natalia. Italy. 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 Oh. Whoa. So let's see what we got in here. We've got some Alfredo's. Potato chips. Pan. 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 Tosto. Pan tosto. It looks pan like tosto. some bruschetta. Ooh, chips. Uh, what does that say? Ketchup. 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 I think ketchup. that's. I think that's. Oh, yep. Ketchup potato chips. We're gonna taste our snacks. From Italy. So first we have pan tosto, tomato and oregano bruschetta, ready to crunch into this two thousand year old tradition. Everyone get one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. It tastes like bruschetta. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I really like that. Yeah. Next we have ketchup chips. Ketchup potato chips, currently the number one chip brand in Italy. Okay, ready? Mm. <laughs> what does it taste like? Ketchup. Yeah, it mm -hmm. tastes like potato chips with ketchup on them. Mm -hmm. Good. It's pretty good. Next. Truffle chips. Italian black truffle potato chips. Italy's world famous truffles, now in a chip. I'm excited about this one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Strong. Good. Oh, that's good. Do you know what truffles are? Truffles are kind of like a mushroom, but they grow underground. Mm. And, and um, countries like France and Italy, they use pigs and dogs and other animals that have a really good sense of smell, and they sniff around underground. Uh, they can smell through the ground, and then they dig them up. Up next, we have a fizzy candy. Fizzy lemon candy, like Sprite in a hard candy. Italians are fizz whizzes. Mmm. Not very fizzy. Tastes like lemonade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tastes like lemonade. Mmm! Mmm! Oh! Oh! Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to fizz. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa! Yes. It's fizzing now. I just bit right into it. I got a very strong flavor of lemon. Ugh. So apparently there's like a pocket inside. Mm -hmm. And once you get into that pocket, it kind of explodes like pop rocks in your mouth and it just fills your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. That's good. Mm. Well, that was exciting. This box sure had a lot of good stuff. I think my favorite was the truffle chips. I really like the lemon drop thing, and I like the chips. I I really liked the bruschetta. Mm -hmm. I liked the truffle chips, and I liked the seltzer lemon drop. To learn some Italian, we set up a special dinner. If you were to go to a restaurant in Italy, the server might say, Cosa varesti? Which means, what would you like? And you might order your favorite fettuccine with chocolate sage butter and caprice salad. 
Per favore is please in Italian. Speaking of manners, it would be good to know thank you and you're welcome in Italian. Grazie is thank you. Prego is you're welcome. Ciao signore e signora. Cosa vesti? Fettuccini al cacao per favore. Insalata caprese per favore. Grazie. Prego. Grazie. Prego. After learning a little bit of Italian, we looked at some of Italy's incredible events in history. Michelangelo was a famous Italian artist, architect, sculptor, and poet from the 14 and 1500s, also known as the Renaissance era. One of his most famous works was the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. This was quite a challenge because he had to paint while standing on a high scaffold he built himself. Elisha painted a masterpiece above his own head to see what Michelangelo went through. Galileo was a famous Italian scientist from the 16th and 17th centuries. He wanted to show that heavier and lighter objects fall at the same speed. He climbed up the Leaning Tower of Pisa with two balls, same size but different weights. He dropped the two balls and they hit the ground at the same time. Elisha wasn't convinced, so we decided to try it ourselves. We're recreating Galileo's experiment. Here are two water bottles, same size, different weights. Here's our Leaning Tower of Pisa. Here we go. Three, two, one. In AD 79, Mount Vesuvius erupted and quickly buried the ancient city of Pompeii in volcanic ash within 25 hours. Because it happened so fast, the city was very well preserved. To better understand the devastation of this event, we created a Roman town out of Lego and covered it with flour. Then we excavated it like the archaeologists did in Pompeii. Our city of Pompeii is finished and Mount Vesuvius is about to erupt. It's not going on. Giant. Oh. <gasps> wow. Oh. <gasps> oh. Wow, that destroyed everything. Yeah. I can't believe the whole city got destroyed. Mm-hmm. That was a sad day, wasn't it? Now it's time to excavate. Yep. Wait. Is that a person? That's a person! Got it, one. Hey. Ah, I found somebody. Well, there's another person. I found two! Here's one. Here's two. It <laughs> looks like a scared face. Yeah. It is a scary place. Remember, this happened so fast that it was as if 
the people were frozen in time, right? So the archaeologists found the people exactly how they died. It must have taken a long time to excavate a whole city, don't you think? Yeah. He has a watermelon and a hot dog. Well, that guy died in the middle of eating, eating a meal. What is this? Huh? Must have had some sort of statue back then. Oh, did it break Ooh. off? Yeah, that's something that archaeologists had to do. If, if they broke something, they would have to figure out a way to preserve it or put it back together. I broke something! You broke something? Whoa, a picture! N oh, yeah, they found very valuable pictures and paintings. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this is a picture of a dino. And if there are artifacts and things that were found, they would restore them. There she is. Wait. I I Wait. This is this. I accidentally Oh oh. I almost lost this picture. You, oh, you almost lost something lost, valuable? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Italy has such a rich culture and history. If you like this video, click the like button and check out the video we did on Russia. Also, we'll be exploring a new country next month. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Thanks for being part of our Crate Happy family. Adio. Yeah, longer, dude.